Well, happy Monday, health careers. I hope you all had a lovely weekend. It sounded like you guys had um, a lot of fun plans and the weather was beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed time up at your cabin. Some of you, some of you were just excited to get outside. Um, we went on a couple of nice long bike rides where uh, my butt is pretty sore. So I have, I have a new and comfortable bike seat coming. Thank you, Amazon. <laughs> So today, I just want to um, talk to you guys about that guest speaker experience that, you know, some of you had planned on bringing a guest speaker in, some of you had planned on interviewing, some of you had planned on shadowing. So obviously, because of COVID, that's going to look a little differently, and I've been kind of toying back and forth with what I wanted to do with it. So I've made a decision, um, and I want to share that with you guys today. So... On Google Classroom, you're going to see, okay, so here is the Classwork page. Okay, you're going to see, this is where my office hours are on Classwork, and then you're going to see this healthcare professional interview, okay, um, and that will be posted always right there, okay, um, and so when you click on that, you're going to be able to open up this document here. So what I've decided, um, again, because of COVID, I need to modify this assignment, but hearing from guest speakers and learning from them, I just think is one of the greatest things about this course. And I'm sad that you guys all won't be able to have that, that experience because hearing people who are in the field and all different kinds of health careers, you know, it just really gives you a first, a really good firsthand look at what that looks like. So I'm going to try and recreate that as best as possible, but really um, following the safer at home order guidelines, you know, it, it's not practical to expect you to go and shadow that would be unsafe. Um, and some elective health health professionals are, are still not working or their clinics are not open. Um, so what I've decided is most people knew a healthcare professional, so I'm going to ask you guys to contact them, and I would like you to interview them, okay? So this can all be done over the phone. You could do it over video chat, but there's no need for an in-person interview. So I'm going to ask you guys, like I said, to interview a healthcare professional, and then you're going to prepare a presentation to share with your classmates. Um, so you won't be like recording yourself or anything, but you're going to prepare a presentation, and I will share those out, kind of like what I'm doing with the healthcare highlights. So this is, you know, what I will expect you guys to ask and then the information that will be in your presentation. So, you know, first couple slides, introducing them. Who are they? How do you know them? If you have a picture of them, uh, where are they employed and what was their schooling pathway? You know, what is their degree in? So really then getting into the job title and description. What do they do? Okay, so what does that look like every day? What are some of those daily duties and tasks that they perform? Okay. Now, for some, every day is going to look a little different. For some, it's going to be pretty structured. And then really get in depth with one technique or a duty they perform in depth. So um, let's see. You know, for example, okay, so one of my best friends is a surgical technologist. And one of the duties that she performs every day before surgery is, you know, um, sterilizing and counting all of the surgical equipment. So maybe I could talk I could have her talk a little bit about that so I could describe it a little bit more in depth other than just she cleans surgical equipment. Okay, well, then I'm describing what that entails. So then um, degree and schooling needed for profession. So what do you what do you have to do? Maybe ask them, you know, hey, I'm in high school. What what can I be doing now to help prepare me? Um, and then a really common thing is continuing education. So a lot of um, not just healthcare professionals, but professionals in general have to take some sort of classes or attend so many seminars um, so that way they're staying up to date on all the information. Um, ask them what they like and what they don't like about their job. Okay, so a minimum of two for each. Um, you looking into the job outlook for the field. So is this growing? Is this declining? Is it holding steady? And then two, like, oh, interesting things you learned or just kind of an aha moment um, you gained from the speaker. Maybe something you didn't realize about the job itself. Um, Maybe you realized, you know, I thought I was interested in this and I'm not, or this really renewed my passion for this. Uh, the pathways. So remember, you guys, those five pathways. Um, so therapeutic, diagnostic, biotechnology and research, support services, and then health informatics. Okay, so which one does that fall into and why? Um, and then presentation. 
you can use the format of your choice. I think Google Slides will be the easiest, but whatever you want to do. All right, presentations. You have three weeks, okay? Friday, May 22nd at 11.59, and that'll give me enough time before the school year is over to then be able to kind of share them out with you guys so you can hear from all sorts of different um, healthcare professionals. Oops. Down here is just a rubric for you, okay? So it is worth 40 points, um, and this will be summative, okay? This will be summative just as if you were bringing a person in, um, you would get credit for that, or if you were shadowing, you would get credit for that. Okay, so again, you can find that right here. It's not going to be linked under a date just because, you know, you can do this and you can turn this in and whatever. Um, I'll probably check it periodically just to see how we're doing, send out reminders about it, um, but I'm not really going to look too hard at it until May 22nd. Okay, so then today, you guys, so we're right here, you're watching this right now. Um, and then I just want to have you guys answer this check-in question for today, okay? Um, so the rest of this week, okay, we're going to be looking at anatomical terms and directions, which is basically just ways to describe parts of the body in relation to one another. Um, but in the medical term, we don't say that is left of this body part or that is right of this body part. There's some... There's some terms that go along with that. So we're going to be playing around with that. But after this week, we're kind of at the point of the semester where I usually ask you guys, all right, what else do you want to learn? And I really like that because we do fun like little mini lessons and I try and tailor it to the class as best as I can. So I kind of want to, you know, get your get your feedback. You know, what do you feel like you still haven't learned yet? What were you expecting to learn that we haven't covered yet in the class? So here are some things that, that have been covered in the past. So we do like a little mini unit on like stress and the impact of stress and healthy and negative ways to deal with it um, or how you can turn unhealthy stress coping mechanisms into healthy ways. Um, genetics. So that's pretty fun, you know, just looking at um, what's inherited and how genetics work and um, dominant and recessive traits, uh, human development. So really looking at, um, you know, how you go from a tiny, tiny little dividing sack of cells into an adult, okay? Um, the wellness wheel is where you look at all aspects of your life um, and you kind of reflect on strengths and weaknesses. And I like doing that because it's a nice reflection on yourself and maybe looking at, you know, an area of improvement for you. But I think as a healthcare profession, um, really as a whole healthcare field, they're really focusing more on the whole person. Um, and so I think that's a fun way just to, I don't know, just to kind of take a look at yourself. Um, and then mental health. We've done little mini units on mental health um, and, and what that kind of looks like and the, and the importance of that um, and, how, and how that looks for every person. So what I want to know from you guys is what would you still like to learn to make this course as beneficial for you as possible? And I will try my best to meet the class requests with our digital learning structure. Um, yeah, all right. So that's what I have for you. I'm excited to see your guys' feedback. Reach out to me um, if you have any questions about the healthcare professional interview. Um, you know, you can either email me or you can write your question as you're answering this question today. But other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow and we'll start to talk about those anatomical terms and directions.